Hi, I'm Jonathan McDonald of The Province. I'm here with longtime football writer Lowell Ulrich. L.U., the last time you and I sat and chatted about the Grey Cup, we chatted about John Cornish and the Calgary Stampeders and even suggested that this game was on his shoulders. Let's talk about the Hamilton Tiger Cats and Brandon Banks. He returned two punts for touchdowns in the East Final, of course, against Montreal. But there are now these suggestions that the game is on his shoulders as a Tiger Cat. Is that fair to the rest of the Tiger Cats? Well, no, it's not. But, I mean, he obviously had a huge impact in that East Final when he has two, two punt return touchdowns and a third one called back to penalty. So, I mean, suffice it to say that if Brandon Banks has any kind of day that way, the, the Hamilton Tiger Cats do have a chance in this game because it is an X-factor component. I mean, the Tiger Cats are not a run-friendly offense. Uh, Zach Caleros, their quarterback, uh, you know, has, has, has not marginal but adequate uh, passing statistics this year. It's his first Grey Cup experience, so too for Bo Levi Mitchell, I suspect, obviously for uh, Calgary. But, uh, you know, Banks is certainly one of those X-factor players that uh, if he does something in a game, then I think Hamilton uh, certainly rates a chance. Well, you know, what's funny is, you know, the, the kick return for a touchdown is one of the greatest things that can happen in a Grey Cup. Just yesterday I was watching highlights from the 1986 Grey Cup in Hamilton when uh, the, the Toronto Argonauts beat them, the Edmonton Eskimos, but the Eskimos did have Henry Gizmo Williams uh, return a kick in the snow which was up to his ankles. He ran that thing back about 80 yards. Uh, what do you think? It, Sunday, BC Place, could that be Brandon Banks' day? It won't be snowing. I can at least predict that <laughs> indoors. But uh, you know what? Uh, there's so much that goes on with punt return and that sort of thing. Jeff Reinbolt, uh, the former Lions uh, assistant coach, is, uh, coaches special teams in Hamilton, does a great job. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's really folly to try to predict whether or not that sort of happens. But like I said before, if that happens, then I think the Hamilton Tiger Cats, under a brilliantly uh, run operation led, led by Kent Austin, de definitely deserves it or has a chance in this game. Okay, thanks, LU. And of course, check out all of our pregame coverage, uh, including uh, everything from LU as well as Ed Willis and all of our post media writers at provincesports.com and in Sunday's Province.